deaths of US citizens in Guatemala. If you look at the US State Department's website, you'll find the number of US citizens who have died in a foreign country from a non-natural cause. The data starts from October 2002 up to December 2021. There are obviously many ways to die, so I've only included a few here. You can see the full data in the spreadsheet, and I'll include the links for those below. During that 20 years period in Mexico, we see 173 pages of listings with 4,301 deaths of US citizens, which includes 1,301 homicides, 511 drownings, 451 vehicle accidents, and 383 suicides. In Costa Rica, we see 20 pages with 479 non-natural deaths of US citizens, which includes 57 homicides, 153 drownings, 23 vehicle accidents, and 67 suicides. In Guatemala, over the last 20 years, we see only 20 pages with 160 deaths of US citizens, 64 homicides, 16 drownings, 32 vehicle accidents, and three suicides. We know that statistics can be misleading, but after showing you these facts, I'm hoping that this might encourage you to do some more research for yourself and see that some countries are not as safe as you think they are, and other countries like Guatemala are actually a lot safer than you have probably been led to believe. I visited Mexico many times, but I've never lived there. My wife and I lived in Costa Rica for 20 years before deciding that we would enjoy a much more affordable and better quality of life in Guatemala than we ever did in Costa Rica. And we were right. The cost of living in Guatemala is far more affordable than it is in Costa Rica. We love living in the new private city of Cayala in Guatemala, which A, doesn't have low crime, Cayala has zero crime, and B, practically everything we need is within walking distance. So, come check it out. And don't forget, please subscribe here to Living in Guatemala on YouTube. We'll be publishing lots of great videos every single week, and of course, encouraging you to check out Living in Guatemala, either to live and work, or for us as a, just a, a beautiful retirement destination. This is Scott Oliver with Living in Guatemala saying hasta la próxima, until next time.